and then in terms of how we approach diversity in general, um, I would say that we are looking to be as diverse a workforce as we can be. Um, so we're trying all different kinds of uh, recruiting methods to meet different types of people and reach different types of people, whether that's going to different schools or working with companies like Architects US or um, just really making sure that we're using our internal networks as well. Um, so when we hire really great people, asking them to refer their friends um, and sort of building our, our culture and our, our diversity that way. Yeah, we're pretty, we're pretty uh, a diverse firm just on the fact that we have offices in London and New York and Turkey and we attract a uh, kind of global audience of not only uh, clients, but also employees. So I think diversity for us is in our DNA. Gosho Architects is a woman-owned architecture firm. And uh, just by nature of us being a woman-owned architecture firm, you would think that diversity is very important to us and you would be correct. But it's not important to us just because it's about a woman-owned firm, a woman leader, caring about diversity, it's actually more in our genetics that we firmly believe that with diversity, you have unlimited possibilities in the form of ideas and design opportunities because anyone whose background is different than somebody else's and you put two people together with differing backgrounds and differing uh, perspectives and differing life stories, you're going to generate the conflict that comes from creation of ideas. So diversity, not just on a political or um, spiritual level, it's important, but on an economic level, diversity is so key. And we here at Gosho Architects firmly believe that. Right now we are probably at the, the highest level of diversity we have in the history that I've been here. Uh, when I came to, the, to Gosho Architects in 2006, we were 10% female. We're now 57% female architects, and then all walks of life represented here as well. So diversity is everything. Well, answer that a few ways. My partner is a woman. Our firm is over 50% women. Uh, so that's one type of diversity. Uh, and we really hopefully hire the best person who walks in the door when we're interviewing and that just gives us a range of people from different backgrounds. Well, I think uh, we are uh, very diverse uh, in our environment. Uh, we have a Mexican uh, born, uh, we have a French born, we have a Italian born, we have even Americans in the team. Uh, so um, <laughs> we've um, we have a, a mixed uh, group of people, but at the same time, uh, always diversity and adding value. Uh, it's adding value to uh, whatever, uh, um, whatever environment, uh, professional environment, and, and also personal uh, environment. Uh, we don't have a strategy of diversity, but we're fairly diverse. We have people from different foreign countries working with us, uh, all very good architects, and um, we have interior designers. And fairly good mix of uh, female and male workers. Um, and it adds to the diversity of the firm, which then adds to the uh, diversity of the projects, which then adds to the value of the projects. Well, we accept it and we love it. I mean, you know, like I said, people come from all over the world with different backgrounds, different orientations, different, um, we support it, um, we love it, and for us it's, it's been a really good thing and we're very happy that, that people aren't all the same. They come from different backgrounds, different places, and that's what New York is all about.